Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw an Among Us character with a pumpkin hat. It's for the Halloween season. It's gonna be fun and exciting. Uh, it's gonna be super simple and for beginners. So I'm gonna be using this, a Faber-Castell P-I-T-T artist pen, big brush. It's basically a marker um, and you can use a Sharpie. You can use any marker you want. Don't feel like you have to use this marker. Don't worry about it. I like it. If you wanna use this exact marker, I'm gonna put the link in the description. Uh, as far as paper goes, this is printing paper. I also put a link for that too, but honestly, it's literally the paper that comes out of the printer. So you don't really need, you, you probably already have this paper jammed in your printer somewhere. Um, easy, good for practice, good for practice paper. I love this. All right, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the pumpkin hat itself because it's not, it's not a small hat as far as the character goes. Among Us is an amazingly fun uh, game. I played on the phone. I know a lot of people played on PC. I played on the phone. So I'm gonna curve right here for the one, one part of the pumpkin here. And I'm gonna curve on the other side. I'll move it down a little bit. And then I'm gonna go zigzag pattern this. It's gonna be, I'm gonna put like about three bumps. One, two, three. I'm gonna draw triangles here for the eyes. So right now I'm gonna draw triangle for one eye. Triangle for the other eye. A line right there that's going to be the striation to the pumpkin itself because pum pumpkins have these striations in them. I'm going to try to draw those lines as thin as possible so they don't interfere with the design. It's thin. So I'm going to take the pressure off of the marker as much as I can. I'm not going to, like, see this line is so thick and this is thin. It's because I pressed that in there a little bit more. All right, just trying to control that. Control is a big part of this, and I'll talk a little bit about that later. Uh, I'm gonna pull line up here, line up here for the stem. Line across. So now we got his hat. So now we gotta draw him. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Every time you subscribe, it helps the algorithm out immensely on the channel. Uh, it shows that 90% of people are not subscribed. And it's weird because I see a lot of repeat people, which I love. Thank you so much. But definitely press the subscribe button. It's going to notify you like about, uh, honestly, it's probably going to notify you 25% of the time when I, that I post. Uh, but it will give you notifications, right? Um, but yeah, I post three uh, easy pictures to draw, uh, easy pictures to draw, tutorials, uh, every single day, every single, well, weekday. I might do them every day soon. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff to be, to be, you know, to be had. If you do enjoy this kind of stuff and you find my stuff worth your time, absolutely, please consider subscribing. It helps out so immensely much. Um, I think there's no downside to it either. So it's just, it's essentially, it's free. Uh, I'm gonna pull down here along his back. So I'm gonna pull a line downward. So that requires some control. Um, if you want to like have more control, like I say this, I'm going to try to start, maybe start saying this in most videos, but really gain control over the marker that you have. And a good uh, exercise to do is to draw circles on a blank piece of paper, just a scratch piece of paper, draw circles both directions. And I mean, not anchored. See how my, see how this, I'm not doing this. Like when we write, I'm kind of moving my shoulder and elbow more. And that gives me a lot more range of motion. I can go over here all of a sudden. It gives me more, way more control. And I, what I'm doing is I'm anchoring myself with my pinky a little bit and sliding that around with like my pinky. But I'm not anchoring my whole wrist like when we draw. Um, like for now, I will do that for smaller stuff, but you know, just gotta keep aware like that line right there, I was mostly just sliding it along. See, I'm sliding it along. I'm not keeping this completely still and going like this. I wouldn't be able to really reach it because my range of motion isn't good. I'm moving it along almost like a moving, you know? You can do that as well. Anyways, sorry about that, that was a tangent. Going down here to the foot, pulling up. Gonna find the visor over here in the front of the face and it's gonna come back to around this area and it's gonna come forward around here. So let's pull forward. Down. Pull around. Forward here. 
So we now have that visor shape. It kind of reminds me of like a pillow on his face if you were to make it abstract. I'm gonna pull a line up. I'm gonna pull down all the way to the foot, the front foot. Pulling up a bit here, out a bit here. Down here, out here. Halfway through the visor, I'm gonna mark it here. Bottom here, I'm gonna mark it over here, and now I'm gonna find his backpack. If you wanna, I, I always compare it to different shapes to make it easier for you, so I always think of his backpack like a loaf of bread on his back. You know, if it kind of brings some people together, if it brings it, you know, into your mind, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, it's just like a loaf. You know, you abstract it to other things to be like, okay, now I can, I, I can draw that, you know? You can draw, like, I know a backpack sounds hard to draw sometimes, sometimes, but a loaf of bread, super easy to draw, usually, unless you're gonna, like, render it out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thicken the lines throughout most of uh, this drawing here. And the reason I'm doing that is I want it to match the animation to the game. So just kind of thicken it out, maybe twice as much, maybe um, one and a half as much. Just kind of thicken them out generally. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the channel. Like I said, I'm posting three times every single weekday. Uh, it might turn into every single day. I'm not sure yet. It probably will, I think, turn to every day because I'm just having such a good time doing it that it's probably, I'm probably just gonna turn it into every day. And I just see, I also see a lot of growth from the channel as well. So I love that. Um, and, and yeah, and people just like it. And I really like talking to people in the comments. So like I reply to every single comment. So when you comment, definitely remember that I will reply. And if you have any requests, I'm gonna be drawing everything under the sun on this channel, right? Easy pictures to draw. Like it's just, it's gonna, it's gonna, I'm gonna refer that to everything. Like, I mean, everything under the sun, I will draw an easy version of it. An easy cartoon, like, an easy cartoon version that any beginner can do. And that's kind of what I'm going to cater to. Um, so I'm going to probably go overdrive in terms of working on the channel and just kind of, you know, being around. It is it is hard work to edit, but I really like, I really uh, enjoy the whole vibe of it. It's, it's more rewarding than not. The thing I don't like, like I've mentioned in other videos, I don't like the editing portion, I love this part. Drawing and talking, I love, you know? It's the editing that's kinda like, ugh, man. Anyways, thank you so much, that is pretty much it. I hope you have a great Halloween. Uh, and yeah, stay spooky and, uh, you know, definitely reach out to me and share the video if you did enjoy it or give it a thumbs up or both. It takes a few seconds to do that. I appreciate it so much if you made it to this point and I'll talk to you later.